I was invited out here by the Los Angeles Family Church, uh, which is, uh, you know, that's a church from Korea, uh, the Unification Church, um, because they are very dedicated to peace on the Korean Peninsula, uh, to reunifying North and South Korea. Um, and, uh, you know, I have been friendly with them for the last couple of years. Uh, you know, one Sunday I just, in Manhattan, I showed up at their church service and I said, hey, uh, this is who I am. I'm a reporter with RT. I run CPI and you guys want peace with North Korea. And so do I. So let's talk. And, you know, I've gone to a number of their workshops and been friendly with them. And uh, they are moving ahead with their idea. They want to have uh, the Peace Cup, which is a sports tournament connected with the United Nations, uh, which is, uh, you know, which is, you know, it, it, you know, is dedicated to using sports to bring world peace. They want to have the next Peace Cup in North Korea. And so they are kind of launching a campaign to have the U.S. government allow them to go to North Korea, because right now it's illegal to go to North Korea. They'll take your passport if you go to North Korea. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's a ridiculous rule, not constitutional at all. Um, and on top of that, they want North Korea to invite them. Uh, and I was just at the World Youth Festival where the North Koreans were there, the Kim Il-sung youth, as well as, you know, youth from Russia and youth from all over the world. Um, and, you know, we presented the North Koreans with a booklet we wrote about our, our effort to build peace on the Korean Peninsula. And, uh, and now I'm here in L.A. to speak at this event put on by this church uh, about it. I'm really, really happy for the invitation. Uh, they're, they're amazing hosts. This is a, a lovely place. They've got me staying, just a beautiful, beautiful, peaceful, you know, peaceful uh, uh, residence that they've got me staying at here. And I'm going to speak at their event tonight. And uh, I'm really glad to be here. And the minister uh, who's speaking, he used to be in New York City. That's how I know him. He was the minister in New York City for a while, the assistant pastor. And now he's out here in L.A. And Joshua is a good friend of mine. And he invited me. And we're going to have an event tonight about peace on the Korean Peninsula. And I think it's important because I'm going to be able to speak to people who've never heard this message before, right? This is a very conservative church, uh, very, you know, Republican-oriented, et cetera. And I'm obviously from a leftist background. I mean, things have gotten confusing, and I think Trump is better than Biden in a lot of ways. But, but you know, but you know, my background is with the left and, and, and socialism and all of that. But we agree on this, and we agree that our society is in a crisis. We agree that, that Korea should be unified. And so they invited me out here, and I'm really glad to be here because this is an opportunity this is an opportunity to make new connections and it's also an opportunity to like like i enjoy and and, and uh, i get inspired by bringing people together yeah uh that's one of the things i really feel i'm here to do mm -hmm. on this planet at this you know juncture uh and that, that's really important so i'm glad that they've given you that opportunity and you've accepted it that's very important